1.2a, Operations with Integers, Integers and Absolute Value. Integers are whole numbers zero and opposites. Opposites are whole numbers that have negatives or opposite. This means it's numbers such as negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. This can continue on in both directions. Opposite means a reflection over 0 on the number line. This means that if we looked at a number line and we put 0 in the center and let's say I was looking at the number 2. If I wanted to see its opposite I would imagine that the zero line is the center and look for the reflection on the other side. The reflection therefore would be two in the opposite direction or negative two. The symbol that looks like the negative or subtraction sign means three options. The first is opposite the second is that it means negative. And the third is that it means subtract. The thing to keep in mind is that this negative or dash symbol means all three of these options. So when seeing one in a problem, remember that it can mean opposite, negative, and subtract all at the same time. Absolute value is the distance from zero. Absolute value is always positive. We use a symbol to show absolute value and it is straight vertical bars with some number or symbol inside, shown with a question mark here. Example one shows dash parenthesis dash six parenthesis. We must assess what these mean. What this essentially is asking us is what is the opposite of negative six? The opposite of negative six would be 6. We could see this on a number line. If we showed that negative 6 was located here on the number line, then looking for its opposite would mean finding its reflection on the other side, which would be at the location of positive 6. In example 2, they want to know the opposite of positive three. Once again, a number line may help us to determine the answer. When we look at a number line and see that the number three is located here, if we find its opposite or reflection across zero, we would find its reflection at negative three. Therefore, if we have a negative out front of the parentheses of a positive number, it is asking us the same thing as negative three. In example three, we have these vertical bars which are absolute value. Absolute value, remember, is the distance from zero. Meaning, if I place negative eight on the number line and then count how many places or the distance it is from zero,
I would find that it is a distance of 8 units from 0. Therefore, the absolute value of negative 8 is 8. In example 4, we look at the absolute value symbol again. We see that it asks, what is the absolute value of 4? If we draw a number line to assist us, we can see that 4 is a distance of 4 units from 0. This means that the absolute value of 4 is 4. Remember, absolute value should always give us a positive answer. In example 5, we ask what is the opposite of the absolute value of negative 7. In this question, we must first address the absolute value before looking for its opposite. Therefore, drawing a number line to assist, we see that negative 7 is a distance of 7 units from 0, meaning that the absolute value of negative 7 is 7. When removing something from an absolute value symbol and there are other pieces still left in the previous problem, you must place that answer in parentheses. We now have the opposite of 7. If we asked what is the opposite of 7, we would find that it is negative 7. Therefore, the opposite of the absolute value of negative 7 is negative 7. Finally, in our example number 6, we have the opposite of the absolute value of 2. If we use a number line to help assist us in determining the absolute value, we see that the number 2 is a distance of 2 units from 0, meaning that the absolute value of 2 is 2. If we place this into parentheses, we see that it is now asking us what is the opposite of 2. The opposite of 2 would be negative 2. Keep in mind in problems that deal with the dash symbol that it can mean opposite, negative, or subtract. Also, absolute value is a distance. Distances can only be positive. Therefore, when taking the absolute value of any number, remember that it must be positive in the answer.